Episode 9, John Bonet Case, Possibilities. If you want to be a good crime solver, you have to have an open mind. You cannot let one thing that you heard or saw stop you from putting away all other clues. The vast majority of these crimes are the result of someone acting rashly, most likely because they have held anger, resentment, or whatever inside them, and they lash out in the heat of the moment. Then the person tries to cover up the crime. And this leads to false clues and misleads many people. Many times the reason some clues don't make sense is they are based on phony information or they're not true. Possibility number one. John Bonet was killed on the way home from Fleet and Priscilla White's house or when the Ramseys entered their garage. In this possible scenario, on the way home, maybe they had a flat tire or an accident and they were stuck outside for a while in the cold, out way later than they planned to be out that night. And emotions started getting high and somehow John Bonet was hit in the head with a lung wrench or a tire iron. Or something could have possibly happened when they got inside their garage when they got home. Maybe the garage door wouldn't open or something and tempers flared there. Naturally, this would imply that John and Patsy covered up what happened and John Bonet never made it to bed that night. This would explain that the bed not really being touched, that Patsy was up all night because she was distraught about what happened both of them working to write the ransom note and staging John Bonet's death in the basement. It would explain the massive head injury to John Bonet's skull. If she had a hood on, that might explain why there wasn't external bleeding. Possibility number two. John Bonet was killed after she awoke in the morning around 4.30 or 5 a.m. In this possible scenario, Burke and John Bonet wake up early because they are excited about going on the trip. And Burke gets out the bowl of pineapple and a glass of tea. He drinks the tea and leaves to go play with the toy and John Bonet starts to eat the pineapple. And maybe one of the parents comes downstairs and sees John Bonet down there and gets bothered by this. And somehow she gets hurt and taken to the basement to prevent the other parent from seeing what just happened. I admit there's not a lot of time in this scenario, but still there's probably an hour to write the three page note and stage the crime scene. It does kind of explain the rush in calling 911 and Bert being awake and to be blamed for this. Possibility number three. The ransom note was written days before the murder. This possible scenario is where I'm saying to have an open mind because the police determined that they matched the pen to the pen at the Ramsey house. But who is to say that there's not two pens and the author of the note took one pen? Or do they really know that this ink matches exactly the ink and the pen in Patsy's pen holder? I don't know, but I would not bet everything on that. So how could the three page note be written days before? Well, the Ramseys had a big Christmas party on December 23rd. And so it would have been easy for someone to take several sheets of paper from the notepad and a pen and take it home and write the long note. And when they came back on Christmas night, they simply put the already written note down at the bottom of the stairs. 
Also, Christmas Day, there were several people in their house. Before the Ramses went to the fleet, White's house. John Ramsey could have written it beforehand also. Possibility number four. John and Patsy Ramsey opened the basement window and moved the suitcase. No one entered the window that night or day. That was all to give the impression that there was an intruder. This possibility is pretty obvious in my mind, but a lot of people are concerned or think about an intruder going through the window. And I think it's all because it was kind of planted that way and no intruder went through that window. One thing, it was really cold that night. So was the intruder in a t-shirt or were they in a heavy coat? And it was warm in the Ramsey house and warm in the basement. They had a lot of problems with the heating getting too hot in certain parts of the house, like the basement and John Bonet's room. This is a textbook example of what I'm talking about where the killer sets up the crime scene or says something after the crime and has everybody thinking it's true or taking it for a fact. I want to say something here, but I can't think what. Oh yeah. John Ramsey says that he broke that window and entered in the summer. And that just happens to be the same window the intruder gets into the house. Why can't the intruder come in some other way? <laughs> this ends this episode. And I'm sorry if I muddied the waters for some of you. But this is what this case is like. And I want to try to rule out all the different possibilities before I say exactly what I think happened. So I'll see you in the next episode.